Hi YouTube family, this is Alicia from WorkersOnBoard.com. Today's video is going to be all about work at home data entry jobs. I'm so excited to talk to you about it because it's something that I know a lot of people look for and they want to do from home but they cannot find a lot of work at home legitimate data entry jobs. So if you've been searching the web or going to other work at home job sites and you have not been able to find or let me say get a work at home job hopefully this video will help you because I have at least 10 companies that are hiring work at home data entry jobs so I have at least 10 data entry jobs from different companies now for those who want to do data entry or you haven't thought about it a few reasons why you may want to consider this is because you will not be talking to customers on the phone so it's non phone work and it is good for those who have limited experience or work experience or for those who are re-entering the workforce and you're looking for something to do on an entry-level basis and it's not a lot of pressure because you don't have to worry about selling anything you just have to use your fingers to type keystrokes and be able to do that. It is repetitive work, but it is a way for you to be able to work from home. Then this video is for you as well. In addition to that, I am going to provide you with some tips so that you can improve your typing speed. Also tell you how you can find out how much, how fast you type right now and some other companies hiring as well as um, some ways that you can make some extra cash from home. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, just click on the subscribe button. If you join this channel, you will be a member and get access to exclusive content, work at home, job leads, and other money-making opportunities. So make sure you join if you have not done so. So as I was looking for jobs today, I found a lot of data entry jobs, and I'm going to get into that, but before... I do. I wanted to share with you all this site, Checkout51, real quickly. Now, this is an app that you can use and download to your phone, and it will help you to save cat money on groceries, and they will give you cash back. Well, now they've updated and made some changes, so now you can save money or get cash back on your gas, as well as prescriptions. Now, this is something new. What I like about Checkout 51 is if you don't have a smartphone, you can access it from your computer. As you can see here in the upper right corner, you just click log in and then you can log into your account. And all you have to do is if you have a webcam on your computer, snap a photo of your receipt and then save a file to your computer and upload it to them so that you could still get this cash back even if you don't have a smartphone if you have a smartphone you could still use this option too but this is a way for to reward you all for shopping or buying gas doing things you normally would do anyway by using some of their partners that they that they're working with and they're going to give you some of the incentive for doing this by giving you cash back. Now, Checkout 51 will still give you a check. And soon it's going to be open to those who live in Canada. When that happens, I will let you know. Um, but you do need $20 to get a check back to request that back. But it's a great way for you to be able to earn a little bit of extra cash by purchasing items and products from your favorite brands and you can get cash back on things that you would normally buy anyway all you have to do is scan those receipts so the link will be right below this video for you for you to get started also I wanted to tell you about this company TTEC they have work at home jobs for those who live in the United States and outside of the United United States so they have a lot of work at home jobs. In fact, so many that I just decided to come here to show you what they have available. As you continue to scroll, I scroll down this page, you'll see a lot of work at home jobs and customer service. They need people for temporary team leads. They have work at home jobs for content strategists, lots of different things, um, service desk associates, 
So if you, you know, are looking for a more traditional work at home job where you will be servicing customers over the phone, whether it be in sales or in customer service, or like it says here, insurance agents or tech support or something like that, please make sure you come to TTEC. They have lots of work at home jobs here. And I'll try to leave the link below this video for their official website so that you can go there and apply online. So I'm going to get right into the jobs. Now I posted this one on the weekly job section, the first data entry job. Remember, there are additional companies hiring. These are just, I'm just specifically talking about data entry. So if you're looking for something else, make sure you come to the weekly job section and you can just click on the title of that particular job and then apply online. The first one comes from the popcorn factory. This is a data entry job. So as you go to 1-800-Flowers, you're going to see this position here. So they are recruiting people for um, the holiday season to earn some extra money. And these are full-time data entry jobs. You can do this from home. But one of the stipulations in order to do this job from home, working remotely, you, will, you do need to be available between the hours of 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. and be required to work on some Saturdays. So please keep that in mind. Also, you will need to type at least 15,000 keystrokes per hour, 40, or that's equivalent to 45 to 55 words a minute. You're going to be keying 35 recipients an hour at minimum. And they do want you to be aware of the fact that you're going to have to sit for an ex extended period of time doing this from home. You have to pay good attention to detail with good grammar, punctuation, and spelling skills. So if you fit this criteria, I would recommend that you apply online. It is seasonal. Maybe it would last till the end of the year, I'm not really sure. But if you're looking for a full-time work at home data entry position, please apply to the Popcorn Factory. I would do it today, if, if at all possible. Now, if you're saying, I don't know what how fast I type, I don't even know if what my typing speed is, how can I find that out? Well, you can basically go to, uh, you can just type on Google, um, you could look for a, a typing website, free typing test or something like that to see what your speed is. You can also come here to the typing test page on my official website. And I created some of these um, sample typing tests and I came up with something that I thought that would relate to you all. Talking about how you make money from home or something like that. Um, and I like to use words that we use in in our everyday speech. There's some typing tests that I saw online and it was words that we're not familiar with. So your brain would have to do a, an additional step to try to figure out what that word is and then try to type it. So I like to use words that we speak on an everyday basis and that you're familiar with. So that way, all you have to do is focus on your key strokes. And so this first test is a minute long. You can take it and you just click here to get started and you start typing. And then once you get done, this will automatically stop and it'll tell you what your speed is. Now, if it's not where you want it to be, I would recommend that you continue practicing. This second test is a little bit more challenging here and it's two minutes long and after you get done, it will tell you how fast you type and what your if you had any errors. Sometimes people will deduct your errors from your speed. So if you type 60 words a minute, but you have a 95% accuracy, they may say, hey, well, you type, if it was 60 words a minute, maybe 55. You know, so you want to make sure you're as accurate as possible. That's not always the case, but it could happen. Um, sometimes they will deduct that and recommend that you type a little bit slower, which I would do that too, and focus more on being accurate rather than fast because once you're confident 
that you're typing the keystrokes accurately without looking down at your keyboard, then you will, as you practice every single day, your speed will increase. Now, these are some additional tips that I have um, here below to help you to increase your speed. You can even see me, and this is another um, uh, typing test. It's strictly for beginners. But you can actually see me typing in this video if you want to. Don't be discouraged if you watch it because um, I do happen to type a little bit fast. I've been doing it for years. I have a lot of practice. And then, too, by having a blog and typing content here, I, I continue practicing. So as the saying goes, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. But I have... Um, been able to keep that speed and maybe improve over the years just because I do it on a regular basis. And that can be true of you as well if you're able to get a typing job or maybe you decide to start your own blog and you will type there, typing content um, from home. But these are some tips to help you. You could write articles. This will help your speed as well. Um, like I said about blogging, that will help you Cutting and filing your nails is very, very important. I cut mines every two weeks. They've grown out a little bit more, but that will also help you get a mechanical keyboard. That is very good. And make sure when you when you go to type, you have a flat surface to type on and you're sitting upright. That will also help you with your typing speed. And then these are some additional tips. Memorize the keys. Um, Try to do that, uh, you know, initially you'll need to look down and all of that, but once you get familiar with where all the keys are, the the um, letters, then you can memorize that and then that's going to help you so you won't have to look down so much and then you can focus on just clicking, going up and down from the home row keys where they are so that your speed will increase over time. But come here to the typing test page. I'll leave a link and it'll help you with your speed and read over some of these tips and take some of those tests to help you too. Now, I'm going to show you the rest of these data entry jobs that I posted on the Friday freebie page. I'm going to click here and show you where I found the rest of the jobs. Now, actually, there are probably um, about nine, I think, here on the Friday freebie page. And so it's going to load up in a minute. I'm having a little bit of internet issues because I have a lot of people. My kids are homeschooling right now, so a lot of people are on the internet. So uh, let's see here. So the first one comes from this company. It's a temporary data entry position, but it does pay $12 an hour, and they need people to log in student information and set up a, a list of new courses. So if you click here, you're going to be taken directly to that page where you can apply online, read more details. Now, some of these um, jobs may require you to submit a resume, and if it doesn't state that, you don't have to do it. Training here will be provided remotely, but you do need to pay good attention to detail, have a computer and internet access, and that one pays $12 an hour. They're only accepting applications through the 24th of September. So please keep that in mind. Don't forget about that. Also, there's another data entry job that comes from Humana. So if you are looking to work from home, Humana has a data entry job. You're going to verify and log receipt of data, obtain missing data, and keep information confidential. If you click here, it's going to take you directly to their website. Cali Services, <clears throat> excuse me, they're seeking people to work from home, doing data entry, pays $15 an hour. I'll click here just so you can see the job details. This too is also a temporary data entry position that you can apply to online. Um, I believe a lot of people will probably be applying to these data entry positions, so that's why you want to apply today, if at all possible, to these jobs so that you won't miss out on your opportunity if you're looking for a data entry job. There is um, an, a few other companies, for example, the University of U 
Utah, they're looking for people to assist professors. You're going to enter information into computerized information systems, your computer, evaluate the documents for accuracy, enter paper surveys and other duties. You need a resume. You do here need one year data entry experience, pays up to $12.50 an hour. Now some companies don't require you to have previous data entry experience, so if you don't um, have that experience, just apply to those who focus more on the skills instead of that experience. So there's another company, General Dynamics Information Technology. They're looking for data entry here. Um, you do have to enter follow-up information and you have to have some medical terminology. You do have to have some administrative experience. But um, if you have that and you type 40 words a minute, you can apply to this company. The Sparks Group, now this is um, a data entry position where you're going to process orders and even enter complex orders. You will need a resume, strong time management skills, pays $12.50 per hour. This one is for New York residents only for MedScribe. Um, you're going to input information and it pays on multiple screens. It pays $12.50 per hour and you do have to have one year clerical experience. There's another company paying $15 an hour, one to three years experience. Sykes is also hiring data entry keyers to work from home to verify information. You do need two years data entry experience. There's another um, company that I just thought of too that I posted on the weekly job section earlier um, this week. It comes from CAS Info Systems or Information Systems and you can come here to the official website you can even go to the weekly job section and the job I believe is going to be um, called an off-site payment processor or something like that but we're going to go here and see what it brings up but this is also a work at home data entry position so as the page loads up then you will be able to see that particular job so um, this is a, I'm sorry, it's called a data verification clerk offsite. Um, this job is offsite too, but it's not data entry. So we're going to click here. And here you do have to type 9,000 keystrokes per hour. So um, that's really, um, they want you to be accurate and of course have pay attention to detail and focus too. Um, have a good speed to do this from home but like I said it comes with time and the better the more you practice the better you're gonna get with your speed but really a lot of these data entry jobs don't require for you to have previous experience necessarily so there's a lot of data entry jobs a lot of companies hiring people to do data entry if you apply to this job it's going to take you at least 20 minutes around about that time to complete the entire application. But if you're interested in doing this from home, uh, make sure you apply to CAS Info. I think the pay is around $11 an hour. I'm not really sure, but you're going to be populating basic data fields from images um, that are not captured or readable. So that's what your job is going to be. And you're also going to verify the accuracy of um, those the contents contained within them so if you're interested in doing this make sure you apply online now remember there are additional work at home jobs on our Facebook groups real work from home jobs workers on board community that you can go and check out and apply to online and there's also an abundance of high paying studies right now that I'm going to leave links to right below this video. There are so many that um, you all may want to check out and qualify for. If you want to see it in a post and um, some of the ones that I have listed, you could always go here under these easy tasks that pays 50 to $90 per hour. Um, also, if you're looking for to take some surveys that pay instantly and you want to get paid today, check that out. But I'll leave links to all those survey sites below this video. Um, 
I wish that I could help you all and maybe help you to learn how to type from home. So I'm going to be thinking about some ways that I could do that remotely from my computer just to help you if this is something that you really want to do. If you have any ideas, leave me some comments below this video. But I hope that you all will apply to some of these companies. Remember, if you don't want to do data entry, there are more jobs on the weekly job section and Friday freebie page. But these are just a few to get you started so you can jumpstart your work at home journey doing data entry if that's something that you want to do. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've gotten hired recently or have any good news or you're going to interview with the company, please leave us your comments below this video. You can also share it in our Facebook groups and we will congratulate you and, um, you know, keep us up to date on your work at home progress. Thank you again so much for watching. Make sure you enjoy the rest of your day and weekend. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. And thank you so much again for watching. And make sure you check out for my next video.